minor. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are, How are you? you? Okay, you? Very good. Very good, good. Good, good, yes. Okay. What happened yesterday? No electricity. Oh, no electricity, yes. <laughs> okay, no problem. All right. Hey, hello, today, Pablo. Today, huh? okay. Yes, but today is okay. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, Manuel. <laughs> Pablo, good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you, guys? No problem. Okay, so we're gonna get ready. Good evening. Hey, Alan, how are you? Hi, thank you. Good okay, time. no problem. I'm okay, good, thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay, everything is fine with the platform exercises. No problem. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, sir. I, I, I cool. I not. I, I, I can finish. Finish it. You manage. I managed. You managed to finish. Yes. I managed to finish. Okay. Very good. That's excellent. Excellent news. Okay. So Saul is coming in. Then let's let's begin with the little review that we always do. Okay, so this was the um, filling the gaps with information from uh, these people. And now we have a, a video that says, in this session, you will listen to a dialogue where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Okay, so then this is also used to, to describe and identify people, right? For example, which one is she? Or oh, which one is uh, minor? If you see many people, but no identification, no identification, like no name. And then you can say which one is Manuel, which one is Alan. And then you can use these descriptions like, a, for example, she doesn't know anyone here. He say uh, he is the man wearing glasses. For example, in this case, if you see your cameras, you can say minor is the one. Okay, minor is the one wearing a cap or a hat. Okay, a cap. Okay, so you can see that he's now he's touching his cap. Okay, who is minor? Minor is the one smiling. Okay, so then you give a brief description, okay, to identify the person. Okay, so that, let's listen to the conversation. Pay attention to always, you know, intonation, pronunciation, new vocabulary, okay, so that we can use it later. But before... We're going to prepare the sound. The size, and here we go. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. <clears throat> As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi Raul, 
Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay. Um, she doesn't know anyone here. As you can see here, for example, it's easy to identify. It's easy to identify Julia, right? And then because it says, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses? Is she the woman wearing glasses? Because this one is wearing glasses only. And they said, no. She's, she's the tall one. She's the tall woman in jeans. Okay, she's the tall woman in jeans. This one, uh, we don't know if she's wearing jeans. This one, we don't know. This one is wearing black pants. And this one is wearing a dress. So the tall one where, uh, in jeans is this one. And she's uh, standing near the window. Okay. So with that information, we can identify Julia. Okay, here. Okay, that she's wearing a, a gray jeans, a gray jacket, and I think she has a, a cell phone, right? Or a drink, a glass maybe, in her hand. Yes, it's a glass. Okay, a glass of soda. Good. Now, uh, listen again. And let's see the Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, questions about vocabulary? She's standing near the window. Now it's your, it's your turn to ask questions. No problem? Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, la palabra dice the row. Oh, she cold. Que es cold? Es... This one, couldn't. Cool. Okay. Couldn't, couldn't is the, could is the past tense of can. And couldn't is the negative form in past. Okay, for example, she can't make it is she couldn't come. Okay, so that would be the, the meaning. Mm, let's see. Okay, say so she can't. This is present. Okay, in past. She couldn't. Okay. She couldn't make it. So that's like she she 
ahead and um, screen cam. Okay. So couldn't past tense of can't. Pronunciation couldn't couldn't no couldn't. Okay, la l no no eh, no no suena. It, it doesn't sound. Okay, what else? Any other question? Teacher. Yes. Uh, is the is the vocabulary in high role good good to see you? Mm -hmm. Uh, is, is question grading in, in friend or grand friend? Uh, yes, you can. Regular, you can. regular is nice to meet you, Raul. Oh no, because the nice to meet you is when the first time, okay, is when you meet a person for the per first time. Okay, eso es cuando conoce a alguien por la primera vez, nice to meet you. Okay. Pero good to see you is a friend, okay? Good to see you, gusto verlo, right? Good to see you again. So es bueno verlo, es un gusto. I'm glad to see you. And you can also use, I'm, uh, the same, I'm glad to see you. Me alegro verlo, right? Good to see you. Great. Great to see you. So, depende de la emoción, right, that you have. Good, great. Okay, nice. Nice to see you, not to meet you. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And then, nice to meet you. Esto ya es nice. To meet you. Eso es cuando se conoce a alguien, okay? And eso es para un conocido. Okay? Perfect. Thank you. Yes. Eh, y se pueden usar todas esas de abajo. I'm glad to see you. O solamente glad. Y a todas les puede agregar I am too. I am glad to see you. I am, uh, it's, aquí podría ser it's good to see you. It's. Esta de acá serían it's. And it's nice to see. Okay, and in this one, I am. Porque aquí estoy contento, esto es, es bueno, es grandioso, qué, qué gusto, qué gusto verte, right? So this is I am. Okay, so you can use all these expressions for friends. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? Any other expression, question? Teacher. Uh, uh, standing. Standing. They are standing. Yes. Uh, all the people. All these people, they are standing. Look, standing, standing, and nobody is sitting. Okay. In this moment, you are sitting. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Uh, yes. And these people is standing. No chairs, no sofas, no nowhere, no place to sit down. Okay. So they are standing. Okay. That's why they use. Uh, let me see. It's a good question, minor. Good question. Let me see. Uh, here it says. Participles. 
un participle. Okay, esta es pregunta para todos. Ok, let me see. Standing, sitting, eh, smiling, eh, okay, what's your microphones? Standing, sitting, smiling, playing. Okay, let's say uh, playing, 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 talking. Okay, these are participles. Okay, participles standing, sitting, smiling, playing, talking. ¿Por qué son participles? ¿Por qué se están realizando en este momento? Mm, yeah, no, that's, uh -huh, that's the difference, pero por ahí va la, por ahí va la respuesta. Eh, ¿Cuáles son los que están haciéndose en el momento? Ok, entonces aquí explicamos una cosa. Lo que es la, la acción de, de sujeto. Uh -huh. yeah, es la acción el, del sujeto. Que... Exactamente, ok, ya vamos llegando. Entonces acá van a ver ustedes una diferencia de lo que existe en inglés. Ok, fíjense bien, los gerunds son todos los que tienen ING, ¿correcto? Es el gerundio, right Pues ahí estamos claros, que todo lo que lleve ING es un gerundio. Pero, ahí ustedes ya muy bien saben, cuando dicen, I am playing, oops, I am playing eh, soccer. Okay. Ajá, esa es, esa es una acción que se está dando en el momento. Una acción right? continua. Exacto, en el momento. Eh, por ejemplo, I am teaching. Sleeping. Okay. I am sleeping. Bueno, cuando dice I am sleeping, no, porque estoy hablando dormido. <ríe> suena bien raro. Es suena, sí, suena bien raro. Ese, hey, ¿qué estás haciendo? I am sleeping. Entonces, estoy dormido, no molesten. Ajá, ¿cómo que estás hablando? Estoy dormido. Then you can, you can say that, right? O sea, sí se puede usar, pero no. Suena raro. Ok, I am sleeping. Eh, I am, eh, let's say, I am working. Ok, that's it. Entonces, ¿ah? With, it, with that example, yo en Spanish, yo estuve durmiendo. Ah, entonces, I was, ahí sí. I was sleeping. Ahí sí, ahí sí, okay. tiene más sentido. Ok, ah, okay. I was sleeping. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, yeah. okay. okay. Entonces, el presente, antes el pasado, presente progresivo y el pasado progresivo. Ok. Ok. Estamos. Ok. Muy bien. Y el, y el, el ING es de C o ando, endo. Exacto. Eh, exacto. Okay. Es, va, ahí vamos bien claro, ya vamos va. quedando claros. Entonces, quedamos acá que aquí estamos usando el verbo to be. Am, um, eh, podemos usar el, el is, ¿verdad? Podemos decir, he is, he is working, o he is, uh, aquí, aquí sí podemos decir, he is sleeping. Ok, tiene más sentido, right? Eh, y podemos decir, he is, o oh, she is, eh, let's say she is uh, typing. ¿Qué está escribiendo? Typing. Ok. Entonces, son acciones que están haciendo el momento. Ahora, ¿cuál es la diferencia con los participles? Estos vienen a ser como unos adjetivos. ¿Ok? El, los ING también pueden funcionar como adjetivos. ¿Ok? O como, eh, por ejemplo, 
si vemos ahora en las... Cuando decimos, por ejemplo, eh, Francisco... Oh, no, I, I, give, I gave you the example. Minor. Minor is the boy... Is the boy wearing a green shirt? Ok. Entonces, si vemos en las imágenes que tenemos aquí ahorita en Zoom, eh, yo estoy con una camisa. I am wearing a blue shirt. Eh, Javier, I think he's wearing a blue shirt, too. Black. Or ochre. Ochre. Okay. Okay, right. Okay, Manuel, you don't see very well from here. Okay, okay, it's a light blue. Entonces vemos que el único que tiene una camisa verde es minor, y right. por, esa, por eso lo identificamos. Digamos, minor is the boy wearing. Es el que está de camisa verde. Okay, aunque se puede traducir es que está vistiendo camisa verde. Okay. Pero acá aparece como wearing a green shirt, como identify, como un participle. Ok. Eh, veamos el video. Let's see the video here. And I give you another example here. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, try to identify the use of party. Okay, when we say good to see you, in case she couldn't make it, she went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Which one is she? Okay, is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall woman in jeans. She's standing near the window. La que está parada, right? Near the window. Entonces aquí aparecen ya como que pues en, eh, le llaman participio, ya no le dicen presente progresivo. Pero eso es lo que vamos a ver ahorita, ¿ok? Hi, Raúl. Good to see you. Oh. Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Ok, then I will show you the other one para que ya veamos más ejemplos. So this one says, in this session, we will learn to use modifiers with particles and prepositions. Here. Oh my God. I hope we don't lose the electricity. Okay. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun, in this case the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Modify it. They okay, here. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. Okay, this is the explanation, right? Because they are before a verb. But uh, let me see. How do you say in English? Okay, después regresamos al video, no problem. 
Let me show you the. Okay, how do you say in English e equipo de natación? Yo estoy en el equipo de natación. Team pool? Uh -huh, okay. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Swimming team. Huh? Swimming team. Yes. The swimming team. The swimming team. Uh -huh. So you say, I am. Uh, I am in the. In the uh, swimming team. Uh -huh. Swimming team. Ok, entonces esto es lo que les decía. Swimming en este caso es adjective. Porque está antes del team. Es un swimming team. El, el equipo de limpieza. Cleaning. Cleaning. Team. Ajá, team. Cleaning team. Cleaning team. Ok, es un cleaning team. Ok. Eh, no en todo se va a poner así el, el equipo de... De, por ejemplo, de mantenimiento, es ya diferente. Maintenance, clean, eh, team. Pero digamos, el equipo de cocina. Okay, de cocineros. Cooking. Cooking. Okay, then we have this one, right? So, it's el grupo of people that are going to, to cook. Okay, so that's why they call them, in this case, these are like adjectives, right? Then, for example... Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, like this one, she is she's swimming in the swimming, swimming what? Swimming pool. Okay. Then you say, uh, she is a member of the of the swimming team. Okay. You can say mm -hmm. he's you see he is participating. Driving calls contest. She is participating in driving contest. Driving. Driving contest. Uh -huh, driving, yes. Eh, driving competition, creo, porque la, son como. Driving competition. Uh -huh. Yes, she, uh -huh, yes, she's participating. Because remember that concursos, más que todo, son como el dibujo, right? Uh, beauty and things like that. But you see here, for example, three different forms. She is swimming. Este es el gerundio. Okay, este es el present progressive. She is swimming in the swimming pool. Okay, aquí aparece como parte del noun. And she's a member of the swimming team. And this one is like the adjective to speak about the team. Okay. So then that's why you see different forms of swimming. Uh, for example, um, let me see another, th another example. Sometimes can be uh, a noun too when you say, uh, let me see. Okay, washing. your hands uh, frequently they can help you prevent uh, prevent what uh, can, can help you prevent huh? uh, COVID COVID-19. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here, what it says here, lavarse las manos, right? 
They say washing your hands frequently can help you prevent COVID-19. Okay, so then you see here, you used it at the beginning. You are not using it as a as, uh, present progressive. Okay, questions in this moment? Uh, it's not going to be difficult to use, but this is for you to have a, an idea, all right? That not all the not all the ING forms that we see sometimes they are present progressive, right? So sometimes they have uh, other juices. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Okay. Now let's watch the modifiers video. with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Okay. Who are the Kardashians? Anybody knows? Who are the Kardashians? Jennifer Gare. <laughs> okay, uh huh. They are some beautiful girls in a TV program, right? What is the name of the TV yes. program? What is the name of the TV, TV program? Keeping. 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 I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, what what's the name, Jenny? Let me see. Let me check. I don't know if we have it in. Um, let's Google it. Uh, we have Kardashians program. Card Kardashians closet. Kardashians program. Mm, okay, keeping up with the Kardashians, that's the name, okay? Yes. Keeping up with the Kardashians, yes. Okay, yes. so then, uh -huh, they, they, <laughs> you can say, for example, and they are three. Three, right? And then you can say, for example, they are the ones, and then you can, you can use this expression, Hello again. He's here. They are the ones, or uh -huh, they are the ones in in the program keeping up with the Kardashians. You say they are the ones in the program keeping up with the Kardashians. Ah, okay, I remember that. Okay, uh, who is Sylvester Stallone? Oh, he is the one in the movies, in the movies of uh, Rambo, in the movies about Rocky, okay? And then other people say, oh, okay, I remember. Then you are using the 
the modifiers with prepositions. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's the other one. Uh, for example, and which one is uh, in the, for example, in, in this movie of Rocky, who is Sylvester Stallone? Oh, he's the one yes. boxing. He's the one fighting for the championship. Ah, okay. And for example, uh, and who is uh, who is Paul Walker in, or who was? Who was Paul Walker in The Fast and Furious? Oh, I, and then you can use the past tense. He was the one, he was the one, uh, for example, driving uh, a car and he was a police officer. Ah, okay, I remember. Okay, so then this is how you can use participles and talk about different people to identify. Okay, peoples, uh, people, groups, uh, a person, individual, or in a group. For example, you can identify a person in a party. Okay, for example, if you are in a party, you can identify a person in a group. You say you can spot him. Okay, como detectarlo, right? Questions in this moment? No? Nope. Okay, then uh, think about a question. Okay, uh, think about a question in which you can ask uh, who is, uh, for example, who is, uh, I don't know. Uh, let me see, who is Rubén Darío? Who is Ruben Darío? He is the man who wrote many poems. Okay, he is the man who wrote many poems. Okay, you can use that one. You don't have to give, you know, very specific information, right? Unless people, you continue with the, uh, with the conversation. And you can say, okay, what poems this, did he write? Okay. And, uh, and, and in that way you can, for example, uh, for example, he's, uh, he wrote poems like, let me see, uh, do we have some here? Ruben Darío. Yes. Ruben Darío, Ruben Darío is a building. <laughs> yes, uh, that, but that is what, uh, what building, right? But the person he was a uh, what? What is the name of this? Uh, uh, a poet from Nicaragua, right? He was from Nicaragua, and he wrote Azul. And then he says Canto de Vida y Esperanza, right? And then some, there are some others books that he wrote. Okay. So you can identify the person by giving some information, okay? Uh, who is Harry Potter? Who is Harry Potter? He is a magician. Uh -huh. He is, a, um, uh, let's say, a magician, a character. A wizard. A wizard, uh-huh. In a character in a movie or in a book. Okay. Uh -huh. J.K. Rowling, right? He's a character in a book. Okay, say, who's Harry Potter? He's a character, or oh, he's the, uh, the, the wizard in the book that J.K. Rowling wrote. Okay? Good. Okay, let's see. Uh, one question each. Escriban una pregunta cada uno de who is... Oh, which uh, which one is whatever? One question. Y cualquiera del grupo la va a responder. And you can Google it. And if you don't know, we say we don't know. Okay? I don't know. We don't have to know everything. Okay? Think about actors, actresses.
Okay, I will show you something. Okay, ready? Okay, Javier, ask a question. Okay, who is Lionel Messi? He's the best poker player. In? In the world. In Barcelona. <laughs> yes, you can see. You can, you can say in the world too, no problem. Okay. okay, in the world of Barcelona only. Okay, in no. this. All, all the universe. All the universe. In all the universe. Okay, good question. Okay, Juan, another question. Uh, who is Michael Jackson? Okay. Now here you can, uh, people, you can answer in past tense, no problem, okay? Who is Michael Jackson? He is the kinder pop. He, uh -huh. he, 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 he was, he was the, he was the king. Uh -huh. he, he was, was the king. He was a pop singer. He was a pop singer uh -huh. uh, from the United States. From the United States. From the United States. Mm -hmm. the United States. Okay, good. It's changing color. <laughs> uh huh. Change his color too. Okay, good, good. Uh, Manuel Gutierrez, question. Who, who is Donald Trump? Who? <laughs> who is Donald yes. Trump? Who? Oh. <laughs> he, he doesn't. <laughs> He, he, doesn't exist. he doesn't exist anymore. He was president of the United States. <laughs> he, he was the president from the United States. Yes, good question. Yeah. Man. Okay, very good. Jenny. Who is Pele? Who's Pele? Oh, he's the best player, soccer. <laughs> he's the best the soccer world. player in the, okay. story. in the history. In the history, the history. of Please. soccer. Okay, good. He was a player. Good he player. was, uh -huh, he was a good player. Uh -huh. And he is considered the best soccer player in history. Okay, you can, so you, you can give all this information, right? He, he was the best player in the 70s and 60s, 70s. And he is considered now the best player in history or one of the best players. It depends how you want to give the information, okay? Good. Uh, anybody else? One more. One more, one more. Who is Ben Affleck in the movie Justice Layer? Okay, who is Ben Affleck in? In the movie Justice Layer. Just, Justice? Justice Layer. Justice League. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. He is Batman. Yes, he is Batman. Okay. Yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for example, uh, in this case, it uh, might not use the preposition in the question, but it's okay, it's good. Okay, say, so who is uh, Ben Affleck in the, in the movie, uh, The Justice League? And then you say, he is Batman. Okay, now look at this one. Okay. You have a picture there. Yes. <laughs> Who is in that picture? Hmm. Okay. Who is uh, Inglés Corporativo? Okay. He's the teacher. He's, he's the teacher. teacher. <laughs> okay. Yes. He's the he's the man, or he's the one with. 
He's teach English. Uh -huh, but you can use, for example, he is the one. He's the one teaching. Uh -huh. He's the one wearing the headset. Okay, and then we say, for example, um, who is? Uh, let's say, who is Jenny? Who's Jenny? She is the student. Uh huh. But she's she's the one. She's the one okay. wearing glasses. She's the one wearing glasses. Okay, she's the one wearing glasses. Okay, very good. And who is Juan? Uh, he is the man of the. He is the man using cup. Wearing a uh -huh, using or wearing a cup. Uh, what color? Green cup. green cup. A green cup because if you see a minor has a blue cup, right? Yes, yes minor. Yes, it's a blue cup. Okay, and then you can say, for example, and who is who is Luis Alberto? Luis Alberto. Uh -huh. Yes. Let's see. Who is Luis Alberto? He's the white. Uh, next. Uh -huh. to Maria. Who's Maria, next? Maria. Uh -huh. Who's next? Luis is Alberto is next to Maria, Maria Mejia. Mejia, right? Oh, my. Yes. Oh, my. Then you are using the preposition next to. Oh, he is, for example, under Saul Hernandez. He's the one under Saul Hernandez and Eduardo Funes. Okay. And who is Maria Mejia? I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> She's the one under. Santa She's the one. He is, he is between in Mariana uh -huh. Sanabria and Luis Alberto. Correct. That's correct. She's the one between Marina Sanabria and Luis Alberto. Okay. She's the one between. Okay. For example, who is Manuel Gutierrez? Oh. Uh huh. Is one it is it, it is in my, uh -huh. my right. <laughs> he he's the one on my left. Bueno, si left? Vemos, ah, depende, depende you, vean, you huh? left in my right. <laughs> okay. okay. And then oh he's the one in the green room. Green room. Uh -huh. He's the one in the green brick, room. The brick, the brick. Oh. Green 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 color green room. Okay, in the room. Uh -huh. In the green room. Oh, he's the one with the green background. Okay, green. you see, all these are possibilities that you can use to identify people, right? He's the one with the green background. He's the one in the in the green room, and you are using different prepositions. Okay. Which one is which one is Pablo? <laughs> ah, which one is Pablo? Hey, where is Paolo? I haven't seen Paolo today. Oh, yes, Paolo's there. Oh, oh, okay. Under, under me. He's under uh, one, okay. Oh, he is the one identified is with a, a identified with a P. Letter P. Uh -huh. Oh, he is the one with a profile picture with the letter P. Okay. So then these are the different uh, different ways that you can use the, the descriptions, right? How to identify people. Good. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Um, okay, now we have the knowledge check. Here. Okay, knowledge check. Instructions rewrite the sentences using modifiers with participles or prepositions. They follow the examples. 
May is the beautiful girl. She's standing by the door. May is the beautiful girl standing by the door. Okay? See the tooth difference? May is a beautiful girl standing by the door. So the two sentences se hace una sola, right? You make just one. Then uh, Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. What will the sentence be? Clark is the guy wearing a bottom down shirt and cargo pants. Okay, that could be one. Se le puede dejar siempre el tall, no problem. También He's wearing. Mm -hmm. Clark is the guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants, or Clark is the tall guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. So in that case, we omit. Clark is the tall guy wearing a button-down shirt. We omit he is. Okay? Next one. What about number two? Adam. Adam and Laos are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. Um, they are a good looking couple. Mm. Adam? Adam and Lourdes are the good Adam or Alan? Adam. <laughs> Adam. Adam and Laos are the, the good looking cook. Are talking to Tom. Talking to Tom. Are talking. Again, Adam and Laos are the good-looking couple. Talking to Tom. Talking to Tom. Okay. Ya observaron cuál es el cuál es el digamos el truco. Solo quita cómo se llama el subject. El verb to be. Ajá, el subject y el verb de la segunda oración, ¿verdad? Then, and there you have it, okay? So, Lynn. Lynn, John, John here. T-shirt and blue here. In a striped T-shirt. In a striped, in a striped T-shirt. Striped T-shirt and blue be, be careful, okay? A stripper is something different, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It is a stripe, okay? No, don't confuse. Uh, I am okay? confused. Yes. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. Len is the young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Right. Stripes, t-shirts, and blue jeans. And blue jeans. That's the one. Okay. Then... Uh, what is the benefit of using this uh, form? Because uh, esto hace que el inglés suene más fluido cuando, cuando uno lo habla. Okay, es diferente, por ejemplo, que ustedes digan acá, uh, Adam and Laos are good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. They live in San Salvador. Okay, when you say Adam and Laos are a good looking couple talking to Tom and they live in San Salvador. Entonces se hace una sola oración y no va como a oración. Que ya, como que ya sabemos que se está este, refiriendo a esas personas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. okay. Now the next one. Jessica is, attract, is, an, is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman. Mm -hmm. 
Sitting. Sitting. Okay. Sitting to the left. Yes, okay. The traffic is sitting, sitting to the left of Antonio. We just omit this. Okay. And the next one? AJ. Is the mm -hmm. AJ is a serious looking boy. He's listening, listening, come serious. Listening, uh huh? Listening to his new salsa CD. Perfect, that's correct, okay? To say uh, AJ is a serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. Okay, Andres, thank you. Say AJ is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. There you go. Okay, so this is just to, eh, en inglés le dicen a esto embed, como incrustar, como cuando uno incrusta un diamante, un anillo, right? Las okay. dos oraciones son válidas. Sí, o sea, las dos formas son válidas, solo que se va a sonar, va a sonar mejor y más fluida la segunda, right? Okay. You can say, Clark is the tall guy, he's wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants, no problem, you can say that, okay? But you can say Clark is a tall guy wearing a bottom down shirt in cargo pants. Usted nada más como más fluido, más suelto. Okay, la segunda. Adam, is allowed, uh, Adam and Laos are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. Adam and Laos are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Okay, so it's, it's the same. You can use the two and no problem. Okay? Okay. Okay, esto es como decir dos formas de diferentes de decir lo mismo. Okay, uh, one probably more fluent, the other one sounds just a little bit longer. Okay. Okay, no more questions? Only the probably only more practice right now we have for 13 right. in this moment we are huh? okay here submit the answers oh. is tomorrow is class i forgot to no tomorrow no eh mañana si no tenemos porque ya Eh, tuvimos las cuatro de esta semana. Ok. Entonces vamos el lunes. La otra semana son las últimas cuatro, lunes a jueves. Eh, yes, I forgot to... This was the one we had. And then... I don't know. I don't know mm -hmm. why me is wrong. I I wrote the same. Eh, veamos. Clark is the tall guy wearing. Hay que tomar en cuenta. Buena pregunta. Veamos. Vamos aquí. Pues mira, aquí dice. Ah, Clark, ah. Hay algún detallito puede hacer este. No, perdón. El punto al final. Clark is the guy wearing a bottom, bottom, down shirt, shirt and cargo pants. Mm -hmm. ah, el, pu el punto lo tiene. Period, entonces. Uh -huh. Si no tiene el period, se lo va a uh, tomar mal. Ok, let me see. No. Lo Adam tiene. And Adam, uh, the second one, please. Adam and Laos are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Mm -hmm. Period. Period. Yes. Ajá, tiene que tener las dos mayúsculas. Eh, puede, yeah. haber, puede haber omitido el, el, el guión acá, pero no problem. Pero el period. Y la que tenga la, la mayúscula en Tom. Ok, I put period in two, four, and five, and yes. 
Yes. Check. I, okay. I, I check the one and three. Okay. Okay. Good. Cualquier cosa, me avisa, right? So that we can, okay. Thank you. we can help you. No problem. Okay, people. So then on Monday, we begin with the unit five. Uh, it's section five. And then we're going to check the final exam on Thursday. Okay. So okay. have a have a very nice weekend. Relax. Take care. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your life. And see you on Monday. Okay. 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 Good night. Bye. See you Monday. See you Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.